Hello, <clears throat> I'm Duncan Fraser, founding director of Useful and Kind, and I've been working with leaders and organisations for many years. And I want to welcome you personally to this community, as your organisation is going to be part of this exciting partnership between Useful and Kind Unlimited and the University of Essex Business School, as we try to explore the feasibility of creating a useful and kind mark. <clears throat> What's it for? Well, it's to explore ways in which you are already being useful and kind to yourselves, to your colleagues, to other employees, to the community and indeed to the world. We're trying to help you build on things that you're already doing by simply noticing, naming and nurturing them. It's so easy, isn't it? Especially post pandemic, just to be scurrying about or even still at home, not quite knowing what we're doing, where we're going when we're faced by so many really important issues that face us all individually, as families, as teams and as organisations. All of this is in the economic, social, political, geopolitical reality, not least, of climate change. Being part of this project will help you to work on yourself and to help you, how, to help you understand how you can be more useful and kind. We've tested these ideas in schools and have developed many tools and resources to help you in your organisation and many of them are based on my organisation of working with leaders in organisations across various sectors over the last 20 years. When we tested our work, we found actually that the most impactful tool is simply asking the question, was that useful and kind? Can you imagine coming out of a board meeting or a team meeting or just a comment that's not been quite right? I'm just feeling, oh, was I useful and kind? Did I do the right thing? Was I useful and kind to my colleague? Was I useful and kind to what our team or the organisation's trying to achieve? Was the project that we're working on useful and kind to the world, both now and in the long term? Useful and kind. It's very important that it combines this idea of both utility and generosity. There's a great deal of material around at the moment about kindness and compassion and I'm sure our Instagram feeds are full of it. But we believe it's very important not to miss out the social action part of compassion. We're very conscious of what we've all been through with the pandemic. And as we emerge, struggling to find an appropriate, new and flexible normal on top of the normal difficulties and joys of running an organisation, deadlines and funding, we're struggling to know what to do. So we've devised a simple yet very powerful model, which was, which was, so we've devised a very simple yet powerful model which will help us all to make the difference we all need to ourselves, to others and the world. And it's that model, the SO model, S-O-W, self, others and world. Self, how can you be useful and kind to yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually, creatively, intellectually? What are you actually doing for yourself at the moment and have you just started it if you've been doing it for a while how's it going um, and the O is for others how can you be useful and kind to others well we think in three categories first the relatively easy ones the loved ones second where we believe real change can come in the world and in your organization is being useful and kind to those it's hard to be useful and kind to We've all got someone in our lives, in our teams, in our organisation that people either generally avoid 
or disagree with? Well, we believe we've got a lot of kit to help unpack some of those difficult relationships. And the final part of others is team. There's a lot of psychology around team and families, and we hope to help you to build on what you're already doing to be useful and kind to others in teams. And finally, world. How can I, knowing it's only me, it's only one lifetime, make a profound difference? You might ask yourself, how can I be a good ancestor? Or, as the Iroquois Indians teach us to ask, what will the impact be seven generations hence of the decision I'm making right now? So, as part of your journey with Useful and Kind on this feasibility project, there'll be lots of tools and resources, but mostly it's simply about asking you what your organisation already does, culturally, specifically, behaviourally, to be useful and kind. That's it. So, I just invite you to think about yourself right now as you begin this journey. Notice all the aspects of yourself. Notice your physical aspects. What's your breathing at the moment? What's your temperature? How is your weight distributed? What's your emotion? Are you happy, angry, sad, scared in this moment? What's going on for you at the moment? At work? At home? This particular moment in your lifespan. How is that? So, again, welcome to this really exciting project. We're really looking forward to working with you on it. Thank you so much for joining us. Be happy and well.